So how do we connect the remote Fluke Connects measurement modules with the Fluke thermal imagers? Well, we introduced the Fluke TI-125 and TI-110 a little while ago, but without telling anybody, we actually built the wireless interface into them. So if you already own one of these thermal imagers, you can easily buy one of our Connects modules and take the measurements right with your existing unit. All you would need to do is get a free firmware upgrade through the internet. To use them with your thermal imager, first make sure the connect modules are turned on and that the wireless button has been pressed so they're broadcasting. We then go to the thermal imager, arrow down to the camera selection, select camera, arrow down to where it says CNX, select the CNX, turn on the CNX capability. Right now it's scanning for the devices and it'll give us a list of the devices. We have a current module on the input power to the drive, a voltage module on the input power, and another current module on phase three between the drive and the motor. So by selecting the ones, here I'm gonna select the input current module, the current module that's at the output of the drive, and then the voltage on the input. Once they're selected, I can then hit that key say I'm all finished and it will go out and it will show me those modules right there. So here I have 5.9 amps coming into the drive. That's how much the drive is loading our system. I have 3.1 amps as the load on phase three between the drive and the motor and then I'm monitoring the 120 volts that's supplying this drive. So very quickly and simply with one shot we can take both a thermal image and get all the measurements and have everything we need for a report without having to first take the thermal image, then go get our current clamps, then write them down. This records everything right there with one shot, with the Fluke thermal imaging talking wirelessly to up to five Connects remote measurement modules.